Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for September 6, 2024. The keys for today are to allow yourself to start with taking care of yourself first and then connecting with other people. Throughout the day, make sure that you are checking in with yourself and adhering to your own moral code and honoring your different levels of capacity. And as long as you are doing this, you're going to have a lot of growth today. And even if you don't, you're going to realize that you need to. When I was doing this meditation, um, the card that I saw was the Ten of Wands reverse. And when the Ten of Wands reverse comes up, it's saying there's a lot on your plate and you need to reconsider how things are being ordered. You need to allow yourself to decide, like, do I need to do all 10 of these things? Do I still want to do 10 of these things? Maybe you only want to do five now, or maybe just today you can only do one or two. That's okay. So allow yourself to have adjustments and honor your need to rest, to understand, to process. If you don't do this, uh, there's a lot of tension in the air today that can lead to pop-offs and that's why it's really important to make sure that you're being centered with yourself. I say this because we have the moon in Libra today. The moon in Libra is all about balance. It is the desire for diplomacy and partnerships and connecting with other people. But this is also a house that now has Venus in it in the South Node. And we're all, again, going th through this really deep realization about who we are now and how that's been changing our relationships. And this is a longer story that we've been working on. But now we have the sun in Virgo, and this is the season of putting the adjustment into practice. Uh, while it's always kind of that energy, especially when the sun is in Virgo, we're coming into winter, it's harvesting time, we're seeing how we're going to be using our energy as the winter approaches us. And the moon in Libra is making a square to Jupiter where this is that energy of like it can go overboard and it can be a lot and you want to do a lot. I mean, a trine. And so with this trine to Jupiter, you have to allow yourself to kind of work it out. It's not doing everything is not going overboard there's a balance especially since we have an opposition to chiron retrograde and so this is about you healing yourself in your relationships and it's not about the other pe person doing something that will heal you it's about you throwing up with accountability for what you need to do so that you can heal and that will mean that there needs to be some changes we also have a quincunx with both uranus retrograde and neptune retrograde listen wild cards all over the place okay uh power plays all over the place definitely double check things make sure people are being honest make sure you're being honest make sure things are above board allow yourself to really be mutable you're gonna have to make adjustments today either because you need to or because you learned something unexpectedly that requires you to do so honor the changes we didn't have a sesky square with pluto retrograde again here we are with the power plays there is definitely um, a point of the subconscious coming out a lot today and that's why i'm really saying like breathe through it take your time process don't rush and if anybody's trying to rush you let that be a sign that you need to slow down and then we also have a mercury square to uranus that's like building in the background and so again there's like this wild card that is happening a lot today on top of the fact that we do have a sextile to mercury and that does help because you will be able to make those adjustments and communicate just let yourself work it out. Remember, we're still in shadows and we have a lot of planets still retrograde. So there's not this like run through speedy Gonzalez or like roadrunner energy today. It's more like a pinky in the brain. I'm aging myself here, but it's more of like this kind of methodical planning with a touch of madness that allows for the unexpected to occur. You got this. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.